I wrote this little ditty, a little number that we always opened our show with and actually played every show we did for about the next eight years. And it simply went, You're fabulous, fabulous to be with all the time. Yeah, to be with all the time. You're fabulous, fabulous to be with all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Hi there, my name's Sarah Wrigley, and I was the lead guitarist in an all-girl band called The Fabs. We all came from South Wales. We had uh, Maggie on the bass, Marie on rhythm guitar, and Linda, a little star, on the drums. I was 19, I, I hadn't lived away from home before, found myself in Ilfracombe, which actually was uh, a lovely town, and uh, I enjoyed those months. I enjoyed uh, learning uh, new songs with the band and also doing a bit of singing and dancing in the show. We played all covers because that is what people really want to hear. We really played quite well and I, people loved it. Being an all-girl band in a very male-dominated business, uh, the pop world, as it was in 63 and 64, with so many all-boy bands, there were hundreds, even in South Wales there were hundreds, it was very difficult because they just took the mickey, like, oh, what sort of guitar have you got, love? Oh, look, it's a nice red one. No. Famously, we worked with The Who, yes, The Who, uh, in the early days when they weren't internationally recognised, but they, they had a big following in the UK. We played with them at a university, and as I came off stage, I bumped into Roger Daltrey, who said to me, well, you're very good, love, but you won't get anywhere. I was a bit miffed at this, and I said, what do you mean? And he said, well... The girls all come to watch the boys in bands and then, of course, the boys all come because the girls are there. Now, that doesn't really work with you, does it? To which I kind of agree, but actually I thought, you know what? This isn't going to stop us. We're good enough. After we finished in Ilfracombe, uh, we had an offer from an agent to go to Germany. And we were asked to play at American bases for uh, GIs. So off we went. We had a four-month contract, four hours a night. So we dollied ourselves up. We bought, got all the latest uh, fashions. Hot pants, mini dresses, mini skirts, long boots, all kinds of things. We also had our hair cut into different fashionable styles like Mary Quant. And off we went to find ourselves standing on a stage in a club with possibly two, three, four hundred all-male audiences. Going to Germany, we then followed American bases into Spain, Italy, the Azores, all over Europe where they were still based, uh, which led to then even further travels going across the Atlantic to Mexico and America. Strangely, the male-dominated prejudice we met in the UK uh, did not exist once we started to travel, which is why we had such a great time travelling. 
first of all, when we went to Germany, we played on uh, on stages in front of all male audiences. There were no other groups that we played with, so we didn't suffer from that. And the guys all loved us. They didn't think it was funny that we were a girl band. They loved it. And then when we travelled over to uh, Mexico City, in fact, uh, we were very, very successful. Put your hands in the air. Mexicans came to this very nice nightclub where we played and they obviously thought it was terrific. The prejudice which we'd suffered from in the UK did not exist there. They accepted that what we did was great. And we were asked by the management there to make an album which could be sold in the nightclub itself. So off we went, we taken it to a studio. We chose 10 songs which we were very familiar with so we didn't really have to rehearse them. We went straight into the studio and did the whole thing in a day, which is unheard of in the UK. It may not have been the quality of the UK recordings, however, it served the purpose. And I've still got a couple of copies now, so um, amazingly, I can still listen to those songs and how they were recorded all those years ago. Put your hands on your heads. I don't think we were aware at the time just how radical our lives were because we had the freedom. No, we weren't accepted at a level that another pop band of boys might have been. However, we made our own decisions. We traveled where we wanted. Um, We never got into any real trouble. We were paid well. It was the most fantastic eight years of my life. 